Hello everyone. The video today is going to be a tutorial on how to put the base of this flip-flop or never-ending tag journal together. We won't do the decorating on this video, but I'll do a separate one for that. This is very easy. Once you get the hang of it, it can be confusing if you don't pay attention to what you're doing, but hopefully today I can explain it in a way that makes sense. Um, it was inspired by a video that I watched from Edith at Scrapbooking With Me. She also referred to a video um, that Carol Laws did. And I watched them both and I actually watched a couple of others. And they're all basically the same. So hopefully I can get this done and you will be educated enough to go ahead and do this. I did these tags in a much larger size than this. Um, this tag journal measures, I think it's seven and three quarters long by four and a half inches wide. These measure some kind of odd amount, but you could do your tags in any, any way that you want to do them. Um, these are about five and five and three eighths wide by eight and a quarter inches long. So what you're going to need, however many tags you're going to want to use, I'm using seven. Um, you can you can keep on going if you want to. It doesn't matter. Um, you want a front side and a back side. Or all fronts or all backs whatever you want to do but I chose to do sort of a neutral background for the back of my tags I have strips here this is coffee dyed muslin this will be the hinges that hold all of the tags together okay and all I did with these was these are an inch and a half wide and you want them the length from where this angle starts right here to the bottom of your tag and mine measure about eight inches and I took two strips and glued them together with a glue stick the edges are going to be buried inside the tag so it doesn't matter and once the the journal is put together I'm going to sew around the edges of all of the tags and that'll hold everything in place all right so let me see if I can do this without confusing myself you want to start with a front and a back. This is going to be the front of my tag journal. This is going to be the tag that goes onto the back of that one. So what we need to do is hinge this side of the journal. Okay. So I'm going to put a little bit of glue just down the side here. Now this front part is a little different than the rest of it, but once you start going, it'll make more sense. All right, so we want that muslin tab to be starting right here at the edge. Get that a little bit straighter. Okay, I'm going to flip that over and we're going to attach this to the back of that tag. And since I'm going to be sewing, I'm just going to add enough glue on the back of this to hold it in place. If you are not going to sew, then you want to make sure you get glue thoroughly on the back of this tag and all the way out to the edges. Now, if you like me, the tags may not match up exactly and you'd have to do some trimming later, but that's okay. So I'm going to press that down really good. All right, so that's the front of our journal. The other thing you need to keep in mind, got a little white part there, Jim. 
All right. The other thing you need to keep in mind is that the next tag that's going to go on is going to be opposite of what you have facing up here. So if I have a front of my tag facing up, the next tag that's going to go on is going to be a tag back. Okay. But before I attach that, well, I'm going to go ahead and attach this. You want to leave a little bit of a space, about an eighth of an inch or so, between the tags. Because that's where, if you want to put signatures, the signatures will go in those spaces right there. Okay, now, we're going to flip this over. Again, this is a tag back. Now we're going to put a tag front. But before we add that, we want to put another strip of fabric right here. Turn that over and look at it and make sure. Got that fairly straight. Yep. Now we're going to take a tag front. And place it on the back there so now once this is down and we flip it over we have a hinge ready for the next piece and I printed and by the way this is a winter digital kit that I am still working on so it's not available for purchase quite yet but I thought since we are Getting into winter or in the winter, I would go ahead and do a winter kit. I try to get that as straight as you possibly can, checking it on the front and the back. Okay, we're going to flip it back over again. And the front of our tag is always going to be on our right hand side. So we had a tag back here. Now we want to attach a tag front. Now going back, I don't think I finished my thought. I printed this kit, these digitals, on 65-pound cardstock. And then I backed them with another piece of 65-pound cardstock. So it's nice and sturdy. I do not like my journals to be wimpy. So everything is double-sided. Again, I'm just eyeballing the space between the two tags. You don't have to be exactly perfect, but all right, got that attached. Now we're going to flip it over and we're going to add another hinge right here. Okay. Turn it over and look, see if it's fairly even. Yep, looks good. All right. Tag front. Now it's time for a tag back. Mm -hmm. And I am using Fabri-Tac. I use it for just about everything. Line that up. I think that looks good. All right, now we're going to flip it back over. Our front is over here to our right. Tag front. Now we're going to add a tag back right here. Put some glue.
line that up with the tag next to it. Be aware of the space that you're leaving. All right, and then we're going to flip it back over. I'm sorry if that flipping is causing some issues. All right. Take another strip, lay it down, and we'll trim all this excess off later. Okay. Looks good. All right, tag back. Now we're going to put a front on. In any, like I said, any place that it doesn't line up exactly, you can always go back and trim it or add ink that sometimes will cover it up. Okay. Now we're going to turn it back over and try to do this gently. Front of our uh, tag journal is over here to our right. All right. Tag back. You get some of this stuff over here out of the way. So now we're going to add a tag front right here. And I'm going to link the videos that I watch down below. I encourage you to go watch them. It's good to watch different people do things, and you might take something away from each of the people you watch and then find a, a process that works for you. All right, I'm flipping it over. I'm going to add a hinge right here. All right, tag front. Now we're going to add one of our tag backs. That looks pretty good. All right. Let's flip this back. Our front again is still to our right, and I'm folding this up a little bit just so I can have room. All right. Now we're going to add another tag back right here. Whoops. I inked the back of that and I didn't need to, <laughs> just this edge. All right, turn it over. I'm going to add another hinge right here. All right, so now we're going to add another tag front. Let's 
that is not on there straight. All right, again, we're going to flip this back over. Our tag front is here to our right. Now we're going to add our last tag front right here. Turn it over. Since we're not adding any more tags, we don't have to put a hinge. We're just going to glue this whole thing down. doesn't line up quite right there, so I'm going to trim that off. Well, I think what I might do is just take my craft knife to it. Could probably have just ink that but okay here's our entire tag journal as you can see it'll lay down perfectly flat this is the other side all right so the way this works you just Fold it accordion style. Here's our front. Fold that in. Fold it that way. You're just going back and forth. And that's the way it looks. I think this is so cool. Anyway, it's kind of skinny right now, but we, we put our signatures in. So You don't have to put signatures in every one of these, but you could. I think the ladies that I watched actually did. In the one that I made, I only have two signatures. One in this side and then one in this side. But I am not haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do with this. But anyway, we can put pockets and tags and other things in there during the next video when we decorate. Okay, and there's the back, and then it starts over again. So thank you so much for joining me today. Again, I'm going to make a second video, and we'll go through and we'll add pockets and tags and signatures, and then figure out uh, how we're going to bind this together. And I hope you enjoyed the video and that you receive some inspiration and that you'll try to do this on your own if you have any questions about anything that you saw me do today please leave a comment below and also leave me a just let me know what you think of this and was it easy to follow did i do a lousy job did i do a good job so that i'm i'm new at this so any advice or critique that you want to give i am totally open to it Anyway, thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks so much. Bye.